Welcome to Linux Server Tutorial. In this session, we are going to see about package management by using zipper command in OpenSUSE. Zipper is the default package manager in OpenSUSE and SUSE Linux Enterprise. Zipper command allows you to install the packages over command line. Zipper command works on top of RPM packages. In this video, we are going to see some examples of zipper command in SUSE Linux and open to see now run the command zipper and hit enter here you can see the help page for zipper command if you want to see help page for a specific command run the command zipper space help space install now hit enter now it's showing the help page for install command if you want to search for a package you can use the following command zipper space Yes, the space package name and hit enter. Here you can see now it will list you the information for the package Firefox. Here you can see the status for the package is installed or not. To get information for a pattern package, you can use the following command now type zipper space info space hyphen t space pattern space file underscore server now hit enter now this command will list you the pattern for the package file server here these are the packages to be installed while installing the file server package now run the command zipper space shell this command will open the shell for zipper command now hit enter here you can see we have entered into the zipper shell from here also we can able to run all the commands for zipper command now type help and hit enter now it will show you the help page for zipper command if you type ls and enter it will list you the all repository files for zipper command to exit you can type exit and hit enter this repository files will be located here cd space slash etc slash zip and hit enter here move to the repos.t directory cd space repos.t now hit enter here type ls and hit enter here you can see the repository files you can also able to list the repository files by using a command. Now move to the home directory and run the command zipper space repos. You can type repos or you can type lr to list the repo. Now hit enter. Here also it will list the repositories. Here you can see the repo is enabled or not. Here you can specify the option hyphen u and hit enter. Now it will list you the URI for each and every repositories. You can use another option hyphen p to list the priority for the repositories. Here you can see the priority for each and every repo. If you want to refresh your repository, run the following command zipper space refresh space and then any repository name and hit enter now the repository is up to date and it is refreshed if you want to refresh all your repositories you can simply type zipper space refresh and hit enter now it's refreshing all the repositories here you can see now my repository is up to date here it will refresh only the enabled repositories here you can see the enabled repositories only getting refresh here you can see some repositories are not enabled so if you want to enable any repository means you can use the following command now type zipper space mr space here I am going to enable this repository 
so here we need to mention the repository id this is the repository id now type 7 and hit enter sorry we need to mention if and e to enable the repository here you can see now the repository is enabled by the same way we can able to disable the repository by using if and d now hit enter here you can see now the repository is disabled now run the following command zipper space mr space iphone rk space iphone p space 88 space repo iphone oss here i am going to set the priority for repo iphone oss repository now hit enter now the priority is changed for the repository zipper space mr space iphone capital k a now hit enter now it's already disabled so nothing change here so let's enable the rpm file cache to enable you can simply type small k in here and then hit enter now the rpm file caching is enabled now run the command to disable it here you can see now rpm file caching has been disabled for all the repositories to disable rpm file caching for the remote repository means you can use the following command zipper space mr space hyphen capital k t and hit enter now the rpm file caching is disabled for the remote repositories by the same way you can type small k here to enable it now it's enabled if you want to add any new repository means you can use the following command zipper space ar ar is specifying for adding a repo and a space and the repository url here this is the url i have copied from the open to see official site no space and give any name for your repository i will give my repo and then hit enter now the repository is successfully created let's verify now type zipper space lr to display the repositories now hit enter here you can see this is the repository we have created now run the following command to rename the repository now type zipper space nr space repository id and space give any name here and then hit enter now the repository is renamed now type zipper space lr and hit enter here you can see the repository is renamed to test repo if you want to remove any repository means you can use the command zipper space rr to remove repository and space the repository name and then hit enter now the repository is removed let's verify zipper space lr here you can see now the repository is removed so these are the some examples of zipper command we are using in OpenCC and Susie Linux Enterprise. So that's all about for now. Hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you for watching.